Good evening, I'm Katie Steiner, and we are here at Claiborne in the I on ramp. like they are about to do the same thing. These two cars have already stalled. That BMW, we talked to the owner, and he, that's actually a rental car. He said that everything just stopped working. So right now, people are just trying to drive through this water. Obviously, this is low, not advised at all. If you see standing water, you do not want to drive through it. The problem is, here in New Orleans right now, there's a lot of streets that look like this. So if you're trying to get somewhere, we don't really have a whole ton of options. So again, we are here at Claiborne near the I-10 ramp. And this area is just, it's like this car is turning around. It's probably for the best. Sometimes a truck can get through here, but you have a lot of cars that are smaller just waiting for this water to come down. I talked to the guy who's been here since 3 o'clock and he said the water has just rose. It has not gone down at all. You can see these two drivers are talking to each other here. But I'll show you how deep the water is. So it's not that deep here, but once we go in, it's a lot deeper. So right now, it's mid-calf. So this is Claiborne looking towards the Superdome. I'm standing in the middle of the road here. But look at how deep it is. Just in a couple of steps, that's how deep. So it looks like this SUV is going to try to make a break for it, so I'm going to go back here so I don't get in this way. Again, we are here at Claiborne and Ursuline. So look at all the leaves in that car. Okay, so now we have, looks like there is a bunch of people that are trying to get onto the interstate. This is getting on I-10. We have cars and SUVs. See, this is how these cars get stuck. You have this little car left. It's trying to make it in. This is a Toyota Camry. It doesn't have license plates on it, so it looks like it's still new. Toyota Camry trying to make it onto the ramp to go to I-10. We have a lot of people that are stuck here. Just watching. Again, this is Claiborne and Ursuline. The on-ramp for I-10. Just watching this car trying to get onto the ramp. But it's not working. Yeah. You can't really see what's underneath here. He's trying to get over the neutral ground onto the ground. You have multiple people here that are waiting to try to do the same thing. This car is just continuing to go on. Trying to push it. This is just an accident waiting to happen right now. So, if you do see any standing water, you do not want to drive in it because you don't know what's around it. You don't know how deep it is. Looks like this guy is going to just leave. So, everybody is trying to get out of here. I think this car is going to try to get on the high 10. But that's an SUV, so it's a little different. Again, you don't know what's underneath there. You have people just lined up here. We have spectators. Again, this is at Claiborne and this one. Okay, so this car's gonna back up. Looks like this car is going to back up so that this BMW can get in. So you're seeing flooding all over New Orleans. A lot of the areas all of this bad where you see street flooding just like this you also have a ton of traffic on the interstates. You've got traffic on the side streets. You've got side streets that are flooded. So if you're trying to get anywhere, it is a complete nightmare from flooding. You've got traffic just backed up. Okay, let's, I don't know what this guy's doing. Okay. So we, this guy's trying to help him a lot. Oh, he's gonna try to jump. Oh gosh. This just makes me nervous watching this. Okay, so we have another guy right here. Okay, so you have people watching here. You have people that have their cars in the back. Okay, I'm gonna... Again, Claiborne at Ursuline is where we are at right now. 